Good morning, friends. Well, Laura is feeling better, but unfortunately, this little guy's not feeling good at all. Horsey. There's a horsey? That one's a camel. Horsey. They make a spitting sound. They go, <laughs> I have no idea if that's true or not, but that's horsey. what I've always heard. What's that one? Is that one a cow? What does a cow say? Moo. Moo. So this is just the simple Fisher Price nativity and we've had it since Isaac and Elise were little and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite Christmas things to get out and just let the kids play and explore with it and it's really durable and fun. I recommend it. What else can you find? My baby. Is that your baby? That's baby Jesus. I think that one's the shepherd. <laughs> Do you think that's a slide? Yeah. Well, I am so glad this little girl is feeling better today. Baby. Yep, it's a baby. Jesus. It's baby Jesus. So during his free time today, Isaac has been playing football in the basement and he's made up a game where it's like one team versus another team and he plays both sides and he's gotten really into it. Like I love his imagination that this can come alive and what made me smile the most is that apparently the halftime show is being performed by Michael Jackson. Just a minute, I gotta go. So it's my team, the Wolverines, Isaac Wolverines versus an actual team called the Buffalo Bills. Ooh, I want to see your uh, Michael Jackson performance. Let's go, Wolverines! Let's go, Wolverines! Let's go, Wolverines! I love it! You having fun? Yeah. So are you winning or are the Buffalo Bills winning? Oh, I'm winning. Alright, so it's getting to be quiet time. Caleb brought me his pillow and his blanket and said, Mom, is it nap time yet? So, uh, yeah, he's sick. And I'm getting ready to put Laura to bed. Then we're going to try to hit the books with the big kids. But anyway, so for lunch today we had noodles. Just like plain noodles. I put like a little bit of cheese and some butter on it, but not much at all. And that is something that I like to eat when I'm not feeling very well. I also like to eat just like toast or rolls or crackers. But what's kind of your go-to thing when you're not feeling good? What's the food that you like to eat? Jeremy's is really weird. It's tacos. Who likes to eat tacos when they're not feeling good? I don't know. Anyway. I like tacos. You like tacos? I like tacos too, but not when I'm sick. But I would do it when I was sick. Okay, well, at least he's on board with the tacos. But anyway, let us know in the comments below what you like to eat when you're not feeling well. and I are practicing syllables right now. I've got numbers on the ground, numbers one, two, three, and I tell her a Christmas word, and she has to do ballet moves all the way to the number that is the correct number of syllables in the word. So, ready? Yeah. Christmas. Christmas. And you found the number? Two. The number two. Okay, go back to the beginning. Candy. Candy. Let's see it. Two. All right. How about mistletoe? Go back to the beginning. What are mistletoes? Oh, mistletoe is a plant that you hang on your ceiling, and whenever people are caught standing underneath it, they have to kiss each other. It's a kissing one. I want to do it. You want to do mistletoe? We need mistletoe at our house. Okay, ready? Do mistletoe. Mistletoe. <laughs> so Isaac, what are you learning about? Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. What are they? Um, they're holidays. So we checked out some books from the library. He asked me the other day, he said, Mom, what's the difference between Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and Christmas? And I was like, you know, I know some basics, but let's research it. So I checked out some books, and then we looked up some information online. So he did the reading on his own, and now we're reviewing it together. Mm -hmm. Good job, bud. In their education, we want to make sure that they know 
that there's not just one way to do things and that the way we do it isn't the only right way or the only good way to do things. And so we want to make sure they're aware of and have an open mind to all the different things that different people around the world do to celebrate, to believe, to live their lives. I did it! Good job! You almost got it. Keep up the good work. So we were sitting here, we just put some pizza in the oven for dinner and Elise comes like dancing through the room and she's like, mom, let me show you my dance moves. And I turn around like, oh, oh my goodness, it's time for your dance class. Like we changed our dance schedule and so she does dance on this like weekday evening and I just haven't gotten into the new groove of it. And I was like, hurry, like we were 15 minutes late at that point, but it's real close. So we just like ran over there and anyway, she still got to be there for an hour for dance class, but it was just funny, like this moment of like, Oh my goodness, you're not where you're supposed to be. All right, we're gonna go lay this little guy down for bed. We just set up the uh, shower curtain in here in case things get messy. Get your pillow, bud. There you go. So we really appreciate everyone sending in the submissions for Grateful Raspberries. We're done including those, but it was great to see what everyone was thankful for. And I'm actually going to include right now some J House outs that I didn't get in back when we hit 5,000 subscribers. People sent in J House out clips and they were hilarious. These are three that because of formatting I wasn't able to make it work. So I'm actually just like filming my laptop in a bathroom with the light off. It doesn't look really great, but I wanted you guys to see these because people put a lot of work into them and I thought they were great. G'day, I'm Monique from Sydney, Want to read a book together first? Okay, let's go snuggle and read a book.